huge news, I think, out of the NATO summit. This statement from Zelensky saying, it, 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 basically finding out, and of course, you know, we don't know whether or not this is really uh, written for him or how much of this is prescripted, but basically blasting NATO for saying that Ukraine will not be given membership at the summit where they're all meeting right now in Vilnius. What does this really send in terms of a message? And are they essentially trying to have their cake and eat it too? They're saying, we'll give you the weapons, we'll give you the materiel, but oh, by the way, we won't give you the defensive guarantees, so go have fun fighting the Russians uh, by yourself. Well, I mean, I, I don't think you could take the leaderships of any NATO countries seriously ever again you know they're already hanging by a thread most of them in terms of popular um you know consensus behind their views and i don't think anybody i mean i think you'd have riots on the streets overnight if uh, ukraine were allowed into nato overnight and and invoked article 5 because that would effectively mean a third world war and and it's a world war for uh, for a lot of people while they well the polling still bears out that the publics in the west particularly believe that western governments should be supportive of ukraine in their fight against uh, Putin's Russia. They don't believe that the Western nations themselves should become involved. And so they're having to tread a very thin line here. And, and the person getting the thin end of the wedge um, is um, Zelensky himself. He has proved unable to pursue any kind of spring offensive, just like I predicted there would be no spring offensive, um, to, 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 to any measure of success as far as either his Western benefactors or in fact his own uh, public concerned. And then on top of that, you you now have this you know, diplomatic uh, fracas that he finds himself in. And, and, and it's not just the content of the message, right? Calling it absurd to not want a third world war. But it also stood out to me that, hey, how come this guy sometimes speaks and writes in perfect English and sometimes speaks and writes in broken English? So you're right to bring up, you know, who knows who actually put that statement together. Um, but what it does feel like is, is one of the most uh, panicky guilt trips that you can you can try and offer up when you're losing uh, a major both diplomatic and physical fight.